Sinestro. Oh, I forgot I should probably talk. Uh, welcome back to SNES Drunk P continues to play uh, <laughs> Axel A. Oh god, this guy. He's got some corn pops floating around him. Ah, shit. That was sloppy. That guy's an easy mini boss thing to get rid of. and I You blew it! Alright, we're coming up on a part where it is... Ooh, yeah, that's a really cool part of this level is the dragons, like, burst out of the ground. Now, this part right here, pick a side. Either pick the left side or the right side and only worry about... Ah, oh, shit. Only wor try and worry about what is happening on that side. Don't scroll back and forth trying to shoot everything or you will get killed. I think I'm past that part now. Nope, coming up on more... Oh, no. Okay, I know where I am now. Now we're going to get the fire waves. To avoid those, you go way... Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's this boring part here. More stuff coming up out of the ground. Easy peasy. More dragons bursting out of whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I really hope I don't die soon. I want to at least get to the boss. Got these things popping up here. Pick a side. Stay on that side. Don't try and shoot everything. Don't get overwhelmed with all the shit on the screen. And just stay on the, either the far left or the far right. If you scroll around trying to dodge everything, you're gonna. The best way to dodge everything is to stay on one side, preferably the left side. All right, now we got these waves. The best way to avoid these is to go all the way to the top left and go immediately go all the way back down. There's three waves then go back down when these things come out. Otherwise, you will run into one of them and make your ship go explode. All right, we made it to the boss. And this thing is pretty fucking cool. Although, it's you'll see in a minute. The Super Nintendo hardware is choking itself to death trying to display this thing. It's almost gonna die. Ah, oh, shit, that was sloppy. All you do is shoot its chest, and it'll gradually expose that uh, steel heart there. There's like a. Oh, that was dumb. What was I thinking? See that green spot there? That's where you want to shoot. The more you shoot it, the more it gets exposed, becomes a bigger target. So let's start over. Son of a bitch. Good dog. All the way back at the beginning. Let's see if we can do a little better job here. Have a little, a few more guys at my disposal. So I don't have to, it's not all or nothing on the boss. It's easy to get caught up in that. Like you feel like you can't make any mistakes and you get too careful and inevitably doing something really stupid. I'm waiting for me myself to do something really stupid so I can say like that. But I haven't done it yet to my own personal credit. There we go. Oh, like that. There we go. There's my stupid thing. Well, at least it was only a weapon thing. God, I have my pops. Damn it. It's the second time I got hit by this thing. Ugh. We got this pea shooter with useless bombs. Oh boy, this is going to be a bad time. Ugh, I'm better off for it. Better off dying there. You don't want to be stuck with that weapon. This is by far the most uh, powerful weapon so far that we can we can use. See how quickly the dragons dissipate there. The music picks right back up too. It, it, it was kind of calm and soothing in that uh, the uh, underwater level there. Now it's it's picked way back up. It's being back on the level of the. First the same uh, mindset as the first two levels. Again, I think 30,000 points should be an extra life. 
or I'm sorry, a free guy. All right, then we got these guys. Look out! Whoa, that was really close. There we go. Excellent. That will help immensely against this boss. I don't think the boss really has very many projectiles other than the the lava he throws. He, he tosses up at you those little circular things. All right, now we back off and wait for these things to jump up, and we shoot them all. Now the boss's main attack is to just crush you with his hands. All right, sorry to do this to you, Cartridge. Actually, I'm playing this on the Retron 5. I always thought it was interesting that the... Uh, I don't know the technical explanation behind this, but uh, even on fancier, supposedly fancier hardware, even on like the emulation like this is the same as playing through the Super Nintendo hardware. Kind of interesting. Again, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know enough about the technical side of Super Nintendo. Yeah, see, so you gotta watch his hands. He's giving you j big jazz hands there. Here come the things. Just get out of the way. Pick your spots. Don't stay in one spot and just hammer on the, the his heart there. That's a bad idea, because you will get hit. <laughs> like how he has his hands like, don't! Don't! Come on! Stop it! I'm gonna tell! I'm telling! We're doing good here. I think we got the whole thing exposed. Now it's just a matter. Of there we go! Yeah, his arms fucking blow off. And he melts back into the lava. Now that's fucking cool. On we go to the last level. And here we get an even more powerful weapon, the wind laser. Installation is complete. Good luck. Good dog. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, isn't that the same music from the beginning of the game? Hey, aren't these ships the same ships from the intro? Why, you might think that, and yes they are. That's what makes this game really cool. It does all this without any words, any dialogue throughout the game itself. Yeah, it has the words in the intro, but... Uh, I always thought that was a really cool touch. It really works well. All right, this is... Oh, another free guy. Wow, I've got five lives right now. I better make it to the fucking boss on this. Oh, shit. What the hell? He's going to crash into his own ship. What the fuck? I've never seen that before. God damn. He nearly bashed into his own ship. I didn't even know he could do that. Anyway, yeah, this, this new weapon here is by far the strongest in the game. And it's, it's, it's got that annoying sound, but it's still pretty sad. It's that high-pitched, I think only my dog can hear that. It's kind of annoying, but it's really powerful, so it works. Works well. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, at the end of the Secret of Mana, the last Secret Amana episode I did. This is going to be my last playthrough for a while. Uh, just because I want to, you know, I have a lot less uh, free time now. <clears throat> Things are picking up at my job. And uh, I, moved in, I, I moved to a new house now. We're just renting a house. And, uh, shit. Ah, son of a bitch. How did my gun get changed? Oh, well, this will work. But, yeah, I'm going to take a break from Let's Plays. And I'm going to focus on reviews for the most part. At least that's the idea. I think that's what I do best. This Let's Play thing was just kind of an experiment to see, you know, if I was any good at it, see if it would be fun. It's good enough, but, you know, I like doing reviews better. I like understanding, really like sitting down and thinking and playing a game, trying to understand what I like about it and what I don't like about it and why. Again, this guy is moving backwards to get a whoa that was close to get away from me <coughs> when it's like oh wow okay forgot about these is he gonna follow me through this little thing that'd be cool no nope, he can't he can't fit oh wow he made it shit oh this is gonna cut him off though okay never mind 
I, th I thought that thing was supposed to stop there. That's crazy. All right, we are now inside the guts of the... Oh my god, I cannot believe I did that. Just wasted a life there. Just terrible. We're now in the guts of the primary enemy ship, I guess it is. Uh... These things come up and try and uh, cut you off rudely. There we go. Ah, this music is creepy. Whoa, that was out of nowhere. Oh boy, this part is really tough. Sorry I'm not talking much. This is pretty intense. Free guy, yes. Look out. Those missiles are insta-death, by the way. Fire behind. Oh, that I got lucky there. Shit. Pull those up. We're getting close to the final boss. Still got a ways to go, but... Yep, we got this mini boss here. Really cool effect here, where it's... Uh, if this is what I think it is. Get the guns on the bottom. Those are important because those things oh shit yikes all right i'm down to three guys damn it I wasn't paying attention see now we've got this guy who like propels himself by grabbing onto the floor and the ceiling uh, and in the meantime you've got these things that shit two of my guns are out a lot going on here. You really have to multitask. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm down to zero guns. It's that damn laser thing. On th Ooh, that was close. Come on. Shit, that was close. Yes! All right. Mini boss defeated, but we still have these laser things we gotta get by that are motion censored glide across them and it's easy to forget about those things because they're not easily noticeable oh no not these things i don't have shit for a while oh god instant death right here yeah no chance in hell even with full power these things oh they're such a bastard just like that i'm out of <laughs> out of weapons just two guys left Bomb these? No, it doesn't look like it. Whew, this is stressful. Oh shit. Oh, you can hit the projectiles. Cool. Alright, I got past. Did I make it? Am I there? I'm there. Ah, shit. Looks like fried chicken. Oh, God. Oh, and just like that, the dream is dead. Well, you know what? I'm not going to make you sit. Th this is the last episode, so I'm going to come back later uh, and transport our way magically to the final boss. And we're back. Yes, we're back, and that was very close. Okay. So, I don't know why I decided to uh, Very, very careful here. There we go. I don't know why I decided to resume at this particular point, but uh, here we are. And... Yeah, stay away from those missiles. They are insta-death. They are collision death. Treated this game by uh, collision death. Ah, oh, allergies are killing me. They're just killing me. Alright, I think I should be coming up against that mini-boss. Yes, there he is. Sure, let's show this again. Why not? Whatever. I just felt like grab a, grab the mic and start talking again. Especially now that I go into this battle with this weapon, it should be should be able to take out one of these fucking laser. Damn it! Had to jinx it. Take 
out one of these things at least. There we go. Take out the guns up top. Ah, son of a bitch. Out of the way of that thing. Drop some bombs on this thing. Remember to dodge the laser. Remember to get ahead of that thing while dodging the laser. And I managed to take out that thing. That's very rare to take out both of those things. At least it's rare for me. Now, will it fire again? Yes, it will. It'll fire every time, within a certain time frame, each time you cross the thing. And a free guy! All right. That's big time. See if I can drop some bombs on this thing. No, I don't think that gets rid of it. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter now. And we cross this. There we go. Should have the big laser beam things coming up here. Oh, nope. These things first. I completely forgot. Oh, and here comes death. Yes, just as I suspected. Here comes death. These things again. Be very careful. Right, those things don't matter. They're completely out of the way. You just have to back up and allow for these things to get destroyed. Now we have uh, these things. These should be the last enemies before we get to the final boss. The first incarnation of the final boss. There's several. I didn't even get past the first one the last time. Uh, so, we don't even get a music change at first. We just get attacked by fried chicken. Ah, shit. Careful. And then when it respawns, it goes the other way. Oh, look out. It's fried chicken. It's delicious. And it will get you. Okay. Now we have a music change. So here we go. Very... I I'm not going to say much. Ah! Shit. Ah. <laughs> Stirring commentary here. Ah! I hate that. One of those is insta-death. Yep, that's that one. Fuck! Okay. Doing good so far. Doing pretty good. It's the next incarnation that really sucks. This one's not so bad. You just have to really concentrate. What am I doing? I'm an idiot! Oh, I didn't even notice that stupid thing. I am a moron. Okay. Ugh, what is this thing around me? I don't even know. Is this, is this mine? Did I generate that? Or is that like a thing I'm trapped in? Strange. Yeah, these things do not respond to... It, like, they take several hits to get to destroy. Yeah, they are bastards and they will kick your ass. Okay, I'm on my last guy. This is better fucking... Come on, don't do this. All right, I got him. Oh, and I, <laughs> I stupidly fucking, oh, god damn. <sighs> okay, let's go. Ah, shit, 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 shit. All right, there we go. I accidentally jostled the thing loose. All right, with this part, all you have to do is outlast it. Just keep firing, keep hitting him. It's, this is more about endurance than it is about doing damage. I think you have to last a minute. And if this, I think on the harder difficulties, the flames in the back get closer to you. Ah! Almost there, about 30 seconds to go. Damn it. This is it. Come on! It gotta be close, come on! Ah, shit! Oh, that was close. Oh my god. You're killing me. Come on! There we go! Alright! Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ, is that stressful. Oh my god. And he dies in a big ball of fire. Oh, wait, no, there he is. He didn't die. Good for you. 
Oh, good for you. You survived the final boss fight on easy. Good for you. Okay. Yeah, here's the dramatic music. Sounds like when they introduced the Chicago Bulls in the 90s. Like the, and now, your starting lineup. Master Chief has saved the day despite cracking his visor. I'm sure that'll cost a few hundred bucks to get replaced. I mean, that thing is not cheap. I'm sure it's customized. I'm sure it's like a some kind of prescription to fix his vision. I don't know. I'm just bullshitting. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm almost positive you get more if you beat the game on normal or on hard, but instead we just get that little blurb and we go straight to the credits. Thank you, S. Tomate, for your work on this game. So yeah, anyway, this is it for me for uh, Let's Plays. So I'm going to take a break. I may come back. I may not come back. I honestly don't know. But uh, what's going to be happening uh, is uh, more reviews. I'm just going to try and uh, concentrate on reviews. I want to get Earthbound done. I want to get Soul Blazer done. I want to get Seiken Densetsu 3. Se I'm sorry. Seiken Densetsu 3 done. There's all sorts of games I still want to do. More Super Famicom stuff. I've gotten questions from people saying, why don't you do Twitch stream, a stream on Twitch? I can't because my internet sucks. I only get DSL out here. I've tried it. I annoyed people on my Twitter feed. Like, hey, can you check this out? And people said, I can't even, it won't even load. Like, it's really slow to upload on my end. So I can't, it just won't work. So, and it's, it's like, that's why I always did just 10 minute episodes for Let's Plays. It's because it, ta <laughs> it takes all night to upload. Uh, a 10 minute episode from uh, recording from the Retron 5 with the uh, Elgato video capture thingy. <sighs> thank you, Taro, for this kick ass music. And thank you, MC Ada, for the Street 2 re ST2 remix, whatever that means. But yeah, what other reviews I got coming up? I don't even know. I can't even think off the top of my head. I do want to get Earthbound done eventually. Uh, that's a hard one, but I'm going to have to put a lot of thought into it and all that sort of thing. Thank you, Mr. Katalv. And, uh, hey, I want to really thank you. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Maybe we'll challenge normal mode sometime. Thanks for watching.